I am Rose Jane Tikinaban and today I am your English teacher for today. And today let us stand together and let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't sit. But today let us have check your attendance for today. All right. All of you are present for today. Clap your hands, class. Okay, class. Um, before we are going to proceed our storytelling for today, are you ready? Okay. If you are ready, eyes on the friend, ears on the for the listen, and mouth to zip and sit properly and pick the pieces under on your table. And then, let us sing together the happy song. Did you know that? Okay, let us sing together. If you are happy, happy, clap your hands. If you are happy, 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 clap your hands. If you are happy, happy, if you are really happy, if you are really happy, clap your hands. If you want the storytelling, shout hooray, hooray. If you want the storytelling, shout hooray, hooray. If you want the storytelling, if you want the storytelling, if you want the storytelling, shout hooray, hooray. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, me too. Oh. Did you see what's in my bag? Okay, what is this? This is cape. And cape is for? Cape is for superhero. Did you know that superhero is not only for human, but also animals can be also a superhero? Okay. You want to know why? But before that, do you have a pet in your house? Okay. Alex, do you have a pet in your house? Okay. She have a dog. Okay, very good. Okay, Shane, do you have a pet in your house? Okay, a cat. And now, what the characteristic of your pet they have? Okay, Alex, what are the characteristic of pet do you have? Okay, a brave dog. Okay, very good. Okay, Shane, what the characteristic of pet do you have? Okay, a very caring cat. Okay, all of your answers are correct. Let us connect to our story for today. But before that, we need to read our objective for today. Let us read together. Okay. Number one, identifying the elements of the story. Second, participate actively in oral and listen carefully to our story. And lastly, value the animals in your surrounding. Alright, are you ready to listen to our story for today? Alright, okay, if you are ready, say hooray! Hooray! Okay, let us read the story of Fluffy the Hero by Roderick Hunt. One day, fire engine went by. There was a fire. Everyone ran to see. Get back, said the fireman. A barn was on fire. Oh no, a barn is on fire. A little dog ran to the barn. She barked and barked. Ruff, 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 ruff. Floppy ran to the barn. He jumped in the window. Get Floppy, get Floppy, said Chip. Fireman pushed the door down. Floppy ran out. He had some puppy. Everyone look at Floppy. What a good dog. Everyone said, what a hero. And that's the end of our story. That's why Floppy called him a hero. And now we have an assessment about the story of the Floppy the Hero. Okay, number one. 
What is the title of the story? Yes, Trisha. The title of the story is The Floppy, the Hero. Wow, excellent answer. Okay, number two. Who are the characters in the story? Yes, Alvin. The characters in the story is the Floppy, the Fireman, the Chip, and the Mommy of the Puppies. Wow, amazing answer. Okay, number three. Why the dog keep on barking? Okay, Shane. It is because the puppies are inside the burning barn. Okay. Wow, very good answer. Number four. Who saved the puppies from the burning barn? Yes, Alex. Floppy saved the puppies from the burning barn. Wow, fantastic answer. Okay, number five. After saving the puppies, what the people called him? Yes, Mira. The people called him the Floppy, the hero. Wow, terrific answer. Okay, lastly, if you are Floppy, will you do the same of what he doing? Yes, Mystica. Okay, yes. We will do the same of what he did it because helping someone can save their lives. Wow, fantastic answer. Okay class, always remember when someone need our help if it can be our family, friends, neighbor, classmate, or teachers, always remember be brave, heartily helping, and help as you can. Well, that's the end of our day. This is Teacher Rose, your English teacher, saying to you, Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye everyone. We will see each other if we will read a book again. Goodbye! Children, before we start our day, let's start it with a prayer. Please stand up and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, children. I am Teacher Christine. In order to get you energized, we're going to dance. Just dance along with the song. <laughs> children now before you take your seat pick up some pieces of trash and arrange your chair now let's check your attendance please say present when your name is called miss canabuan very good all of you are present today give yourself a round of applause please can anyone remember the lesson yesterday yes miss biboso Yes, very good. We read the story of Cinderella and you learned something from the story. Okay class, for our activity for today, you do a message relay. You need to form a group of four and you need to choose your leader. The first group who finish first will be the winner. Okay, the winner from the message relay is the group three. Give them a round of applause please. Okay, what have you learned from our activity? Yes, Miss Budana. Very good. Trust and sportsmanship. Did you know that those words represent some character, settings, and events in the story? Before we start, here are the objectives for today's class. At the end of the lesson, the pupils will be able to identify the elements of the short story, create a story map, and recognize the value of the story and relate it to one's life. 
Okay, I will show you some picture. Okay, what did you see from the pictures? Yes, very good. It's a bear and there are two boys. Today, I will read the story of the two friends and the bear. Are you ready to listen? Okay, let's start. We live two friends in a village. They were Sha'am and Tano. They were very close friends. One day, they decided to go to the nearby city for their business. But for that, they had to cross the forest and go to the city. The next day, Sha'am and Tano left in the early hours of the day. The forest was thick and dark. They were talking to each other and suddenly, Sha'am saw some movement behind the bushes. It was a bear, as dark as the night itself. After seeing the bear, both trembled in fear. The bear did not notice them, but was approaching to their direction. When Sha'am turned back, he was shocked. Tano was missing. Sha'am saw Tano at the top of the tree. Sha'am realized the true colors of Tano. Sha'am had an idea. He held his breath and lay on the ground, pretending to be dead. The bear near him and sniffed him. He thought that Sha'am was dead. The bear puddled off as he did not touch the dead bodies. After the bear left, Sha'am got up. Tano came down from the tree. Sha'am was very angry with his friend as he had run away from him at the approach of danger. He made up his mind not to concern with Tano anymore. Tano asked Sha'am what did the bear whisper in his ear. In his reply, Sha'am said, the bear asked me not to be friends with those who do not stand by you in times of crisis. Tano bowed his head down in shame. Sha'am walked back to the village. Okay class, did you listen to the story? Very good! Okay, who is the character in the story? Yes, Miss Bajang. Yes, it was Tano, Sha'am, and the bear. Where does it happen? Yes, Mr. Hagunos. Very good. It happened in the forest. Why does Tano love Sha'am? Yes, Miss Magdalera. Very good because there was a bear. So he climbed up to the tree and loved Sha'am. What did the bear do to Sha'am? Yes, Miss Uno. Right, he just whispered something to Sha'am. So what was the moral of the story? Very good. True friend is the one who always support you and stands by you in any situations. So you need to choose who are your true friends because even in times of crisis, they will not leave you. Okay children, now you need to form a group of four. And you need to create a story map based on the story of the two friends and the bear. You will only have 10 minutes to do this. And you will post your work at the board. Okay, time's up. Everyone did well. Give yourself a round of applause, please. Okay, in your one whole sheet of paper, copy and answer the following questions. Okay, time's up. Please pass your paper at the front. So we're at the end for today's class. So I want you to read in advance the story of the lion and the mouse. And get ready for some questions that I will be asked after reading the story. Did you learn something today? I'm glad that you learned something for today's class. May I request everyone to stand up for our closing prayer. Okay, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye class, see you again tomorrow.
Good morning once again. I'm Teacher Bea and I am your teacher for English. Hello kids, good morning. How are you today? It's nice to hear that. Who is absent for today? Okay, very good. No one is absent. Please clap your hands. Are you excited to hear a new story for today? Okay, very good. And the title of our story for today is The, the Ant and the Grasshopper. Okay, kids, are you ready? Good. But before that, I want you to sit properly and enjoy listening, okay? Very good. The Ant and the Grasshopper Once a beautiful spring day, a grasshopper is singing and dancing, enjoying the spring day. Mm. Suddenly, an ant passes his way, and the ant is very hardworking. The ant is hard work and effort to take particle of corn. And the grasshopper said, Instead of working whole day, why don't you come and sit and talk to me? But the ant is very intelligent. The ant said, I'm gathering food for the rainy days. You should also do the same. What will you give to your family to eat and stay during the rainy day? And the grasshopper replied, I have a lot of food for now. Why should I think about the rainy days? The ant is very intelligent. He did not pay any attention to what the grasshopper saying. She gathered more and more foods before the rain came. One day, it suddenly started raining. The rain came much as they expected. And the poor grasshopper did not have any place to stay and any food to eat. The grasshopper went to ant for help. And the ant reminded him what he said earlier. But the ant is very helpful. He offered him some food to eat and place to stay. Till then, the grasshopper become more responsible. The end. So that's the end of the story. Kids, did you enjoy and understand the story? Okay, very good. So what is the title of the story? Yes? Correct! The ant and the grasshopper. Very good! What animal did you see in the story? Yes? Yes, correct! The ant and the grasshopper. Okay, clap your hands. Oh. Who loves to sing and dance? Yes? Correct! The grasshopper. And who is the hard working? Yes? Correct! Very good! The ant! And last question is, why it is important to be responsible all the time? Yes? Yes! Correct! Very good! It is important to be responsible in any situation. That we can prepare, don't be lazy, and work hard in case of hard time or hard. And also, there is our time to play and time to work. It is of course also important to be helpful. Very good class. All your answers are collected. Okay, clap your hands. Okay, kids, and for your assignment for tomorrow, I want you to color this picture. Color red for the ant and color green for the grasshopper. Okay, that's all for today class. See you tomorrow. And thank you for listening. God bless. Bye. Good morning class. Today is our lesson is about the ant and the dove, but for that, let's stand up and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we start our, as we start our class for today. Amen. And class, uh, before we start the class, let me know who is absent for today. You're very good. 
there's no absent and then so our objective for today is uh, at the end of the lesson the student will be able to identify the main character of the story appreciate the context clues participate actively in the performing activity so i will be going to read the story for today i will be going to read the story today class but please listen because after i read the story we will have an activity so, the ant and the dove one hot day an ant was searching for some water after walking around for some time she came to a spring to reach the spring she had to climb up a blade of grass while making her up way she slipped and fell into the water she could have drawn if a dove up a nearby tree had not seen her seeing that the ant was in trouble the dove quickly plucked off a leaf and dropped into the water near the struggling ant the ant moved towards the leaf and climbed up there soon it carried her softly to the dry ground just at the time a hunter nearby was throwing out his net towards the dove hoping to trap it Guessing what he was about to do, the ant quickly beat him on the hill. Feeling the pain, the hunter dropped his net. The dog was quick to fly away to safety. And that is all our story. So, our activity for today is, uh, I will be going to show you the character of the story and then tell me who is the name of the character. Okay, first is... This one. Oh, very good. She's the dove. And then this one. Very good. The ant. And the last one is the hunter. Very good class. So, before we end our class, uh, for tomorrow, our topic for tomorrow is about the elves and the shoemaker. Okay. Okay, class, for your assignment for today, please bring, bring the following. Colors, scissors, pencils, and pen paper. And that's all for today. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the story that we have today. Bye, class. Let us all stand up for our prayer. In the name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good day, class. I am your teacher in English. I am Ken Choi A. Fidena. How are you today? That's great. Do you know the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes? And can you join the church? Can you sing it? Okay, are you ready for it? Okay. Okay, let us sing. All together. Head, shoulders. And now, before you will sit down, please pick up some garbages and papers under your seats and arrange it properly. And please be quiet before you will sit down. Do we have an assignment? Okay. Yesterday, what was our topic? We read about the story of Matthew gets a haircut. What was we found out about Matthew? Very good. We found out that how Mateo ready for the start of the school. Are you ready for our new story for today? That's great. Okay, listen carefully to what our story is all about. Our new story is entitled The Ugly Tree. Long, long ago, in a dense forest, there were thousands of tall and beautiful trees. They were happy but proud of themselves. Among them all, there also an ugly tree whose branches were badly twisted. Its roots had uneven curves and 
all the trees made fun of the ugly tree. How are you, hunchback? The other tree always shouted, and their laughter made the ugly tree feel sad. But he never raised a voice against them. The ugly tree thought, I wish I were as beautiful as the other trees. Why did God do this it to me? Neither can I provide shade to the travelers, not can the birds make their nests on me. Nobody needs me. One day, a woodcutter came to the forest. He took a look at the trees and said, These trees are lovely. I must cut them. As soon as he picked up his axe, the trees became frightened. Chop, 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 went the woodcutter's axe. And one by one, the trees started to fall. None of us is going to be spared, screamed one of the beautiful trees. Soon, that tree too was brought to ground by the woodcutter's axe. By now, the woodcutter had come near to the ugly tree. He just raised his axe when suddenly he noticed how crooked the ugly tree. Hmm, this crooked tree seems to be useless for me. I cannot make long straight logs of this ugly tree, he thought. And he moved towards another beautiful tree. The ugly tree heaved a huge high of relief. He realized that by making him ugly, God had actually given him a boon. From that day, the ugly tree never complained. He was happy with his crooked branches. He never forgot how he was spared from the woodcutter's axe, only because he was crooked and ugly. Did you enjoy the story? Great! What was the name of the character? Very good! The name of the character is the ugly tree. What have you learned in this story? Very good! To be contented. What else? Yes! Be happy on what you have what is the moral lesson of the story? The art of being happy is to be satisfied on what you have right now and to be contented. In our agreement, read a short story about family and in a bond paper, Write the elements of the story you read. This will be passed in Monday. That's all for today. Thank you so much for listening in our short story. I hope you have learned something for today. See you next week. Bye!